Okay, fasten your seatbelt. This one's kind of fun. CSMACD and CSMACA. Oh my goodness, what a mouthful. Well, let's talk about what those are. Remember earlier that we said Ethernet is a, it's a multiple access, it, it, it's a random, uh, random access sort of thing. So that this PC or this PC over here can talk uh, at any time that they need to talk, right? And that we can have possible collisions, which we've talked about. So let's take a meaning, a look at the meaning of the term itself. So CS means carrier sense. That means that the devices here, the hosts, are able to sense whether there's traffic or not. Multiple access means that multiple hosts use the same wire. Without an eye, we're <laughs> uh, collision detection. Hosts can detect collisions and act on them. So let's take a look at the process now that it goes through in order to do that. First of all, uh, in the process, we have, uh, well, that's the process in general. You see something going on here, and you see that C was trying to talk, and what's, well, what's happening? I'm going to look at each of these individual things as they go along and describe what's happening at each step. So here in step one, uh, C here is listening, and this is step one is that any host that wishes to transmit listens for traffic first. Now, uh, here, uh, no traffic was detected, so C was listening for traffic, and this is what it heard, and it just heard this, this carrier signal, but it didn't see anything, you know, bigger or tighter or anything on there, so it knew that this is just the carrier signal and it's okay to transmit. Well, after it hears that, it does take a little time here. There's a, a little back off timer, uh, a little pause before it actually sends anything. But then finally, it whoops. Then finally, it sends that uh, information out onto the wire. So that's step two. If no traffic is detected, the frame is sent after a short wait. Step three. Then what happens when two hosts send a signal and a crash occurs? So here, A and D. Both try to talk at the same time, and a collision happens here. All right, so now we have a collision. We have to deal with that collision. The next thing that happens is that these guys send a jamming signal. Jamming signal is just this high-voltage signal that says, Nyeh, hey, you know, we've got a collision here, guys. Everybody back off. So step four, this jamming signal, and everybody backs off. Step five, at when they back off, they all set a timer. And it's a random timer, so each one has a different time set. You notice that these little uh, black uh, minute hands, second hands or whatever are in different places on these things. So each one has a different uh, timer, and they will all wait for that timer. And then the, when the first one wants to transmit, now notice here that A and D uh, both wanted to transmit. And so... Uh, let's say that, that D is the one whose timer expires first, then D can go ahead and listen again. In other words, goes back to step one and goes all through the process once again. So that's CSMA CD. Now, there is a problem with wireless. Wireless devices can't necessarily listen to the wire, so to speak. Uh, the problem is that they can't necessarily hear each other. So I've got a wall here, and maybe these two are not able to get across that wall to hear each other. Now, it might just be a larger, larger distance without a wall, but this device, the, the access point, can hear both of them, but they cannot hear each other because of the distance or because of obstacles. This is called the hidden node problem. So CSMACD won't work because I can't listen for transmissions. So how does it get around that? Well, CSMACA. Collision, or excuse me, carrier sense, multiple access with collision avoidance. And I didn't write that on this slide here, but that's what it stands for. So in CSMACA, the host pulls the access point to request time. So this guy here wants to talk, and it pulls the access point and says, Hey, are you clear? Uh, because if you have another conversation going, I don't want to interrupt. And it waits for this guy here then to send back uh, a signal saying, yes, everything's clear. You can go ahead and transmit now. So this is an example of polling here rather than contention. And that's how wireless works, CSMA, CA. Now, CSMA, CD, and CSMA, CA are both um, part of the Ethernet protocol. Right, thank you.